Hi guys, iPod Mods Pro here, and today I'm going to be doing the tutorial on how to hack Xenonia 3 Part 2. In this video, um, you're going to do everything on your laptop or computer or Mac, so let's see what you need first. You're going to need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch, a laptop, computer, or Mac, or anything like that, WinRAR, which is just like any RAR zip file archiver, and WinSCP for Windows or CyberDuck for Mac. Those are basically just like iFile on your iPod or iPhone, but it's on the computer instead. You're going to need internet connection and the Xenonia 3 version 1.0.1 patcher. Alright, so let's go get this stuff first. First is up is WinRAR, so you can open your browser. I use Firefox because I just think it's faster. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast, I don't know. So you're going to search for Win Download for Windows 7 because that's what I use. If you use a Mac, then you're going to search for Mac. But So I downloaded 64-bit uh, software from CNET. Um, There's a 32-bit software right up here if you want that. Um, and for Mac, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, maybe. They might have it for Mac. I'm not sure. Just get any RAR file archiver for Mac if you have a Mac. And then you're going to get Win, SCP, no, I don't. Alright. What am I doing? Download. And you're click on the first link. If you use a Mac, of course, you're going to get CyberDuck. I'm not really sure how to get that, but there should be some tutorials on YouTube. Or if you know how to get it, then just get it. Alright, so click on WinSCP download. First link. You're going to take you to this page. First one would be WinSCP 4.3.4. You're going to click on installation package. That should take you to something like this or a different page that has some words on the side and then your down it doesn't matter your download will start either way yep right here you're gonna save the file and then you're gonna go to your downloads folder and you're gonna run the setup but you must run it as administrator or the setup will not work all right so next you're gonna go back to google.com or google.ca doesn't matter and you're gonna search the Nonia 3 hacks x sellies and press search and it should be the first link right here just this one right here click on it and um the person that created this this hack was Ice Cube, so credits to him. And the person who created the patcher for this was Blizzard right here, so credits to him also. And so you once you're on this page, you're gonna scroll all the way down to see another post from Blizzard that says, "Whoops, sorry." It says, "Okay, finish my first patcher." You're gonna go down here and you're gonna click download right here. This area right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but click on here. I should take you to Mediafire right here. It says version 1 and then space 1 point RAR. It doesn't matter, it's the password for version 1.0.1. Just gonna click on download. Save file. And it shouldn't take very long to download because it's a fairly small file. Yep, right there. Okay, so that's all you need for the browser now. You're going to go to your downloads. I mean, yeah, your downloads folder. So I'm going to go there. You're going to find the file, which is right here. And you're going to cut it. And then somewhere else, and you're going to make um, a folder that says Xenonia 3 hacks. And then you're going to double click on it. And then paste the file right here. Next, you're going to right click the file. And then if you're, you should already have WinRAR, so then these three settings should be added to it. You click on Extract here, which is the middle one, and this thing should pop up. Alright, so now, you're, if you already, since you already have WinSCP installed, you're going to click on, you're going to open it. And it should take you to something that looks like this. <clears throat> okay, right now, you're going to open SB settings and you're gonna click on the tab that says open or just SSH and, and click on it so that turns green 
and then right here at the bottom of SB settings it should have your Wi-Fi IP address you type that in here so it should be like something like three numbers and then another three numbers and then yeah so on that's not my IP address that's just um, some, some random numbers all right so for username this is this goes for everyone username is gonna be root so R O O T and then password is gonna be Alpine but I can't type in the password because it won't show so I'm gonna type the password up here but this is where you're gonna put in the password so Alpine A L P I N E and then you're gonna click on login once you have all those things in I already saved my sessions with this button and so then I just click on this and then click on login and I just type in the password for you guys when you type in the password to enter it it should have something that pops up that says would you like to add the host key to the cache or something you're just gonna click yes and then it should take you here alright so now you're gonna go into iFile in your on your iPod touch and you're gonna go to settings in iFile and you're gonna make sure application names are turned on next in iFile you're gonna go to private or just var and then mobile and the applications and then uh, hold up you go to var mobile applications in iFile not in here yet and then it should take you to something that looks similar to this but then instead of these numbers they're gonna have the application names since you turn on application names you're gonna go to you're gonna scroll all the way down to you see Zenonia 3 and underneath the Zenonia 3 app folder name it should have some numbers that look something like this right that looks something like this you're just gonna find the start of those numbers and then you're gonna go into WinSCP go to private var mobile and then application it should take you to something that looks like this you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find that your Zenonia 3 file you're gonna double click on it I already found mine so here it is you go into Zenonia3.app scroll all the way down you should see this file Zenonia3 right here so now you're gonna go into your Zenonia 3 hacks photo with the patcher in it and you're gonna drag this one over click on copy just wait till it drags or copy sorry it might lag a bit depends on your connection speed what two minutes you're kidding right hang on this shouldn't take that long to transfer it'll go by faster yeah the speed's gonna go up now yep alright sorry that, that took so long guys so next you're gonna take this file right here the same file I just copied you're gonna back it up somewhere else on your computer and then you're gonna delete this file from your iPod touch in WinSCP so now you're gonna minimize WinSCP go to your documents folder and this file should pop up double click on the patcher now and then click on check version and if you already have the Zenonia 3 file in here it should this stuff should pop up click on the hacks you want I'm gonna take these hacks I recommend these hacks to you too because these the three hacks that I didn't check are quite useless I find invincibility is kind of useful but then um, if you go online in PvP mode or um, <clears throat> the tower mode thingy then it's just gonna give your opponents invincibility too so you're gonna click on patch it it shouldn't take that long if it does take long then it might just lag a bit but yeah apparently mine just side to lag it usually works fast for me. I think it's just because I'm recording right now that it takes a while. Let's uh, just wait for it to patch. Yeah, it should, it should say patch done and enjoy after when it's done. Just click OK and then click on exit. And now you're going to go back into WinSCP. Take that file. Whoops, sorry. Take this file and drag it. Oh my god. You take it and drag it right back into Zenonia 3 app folder. Just wait for it to transfer. <clears throat> it might take up to a minute, I don't know. I don't know why my connection speed's so slow right now. 
I was never this slow before. Yeah, it might be because I'm recording right now. I don't know. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so just wait for it to transfer. <coughs> yeah, once you're done that, that's basically all the things that you need to do on your laptop or computer or Mac. Zenonia 3 is basically already hacked right now. So, but it won't work yet, so you have to watch part 3. Just wait for it to transfer. Sorry if you hear any background noises, some people just came up, so yeah. Jeez, seriously, I don't know why it's taking so long to transfer. Six, about 60k bytes per second, I don't even know why. It's really slow right now. Usually for me, it goes up to like 500k IB per second, but... Huh. I almost done. Sorry for the wait, guys. All right, so once it's done, you're gonna watch. Go watch part three now. So that's gonna tell you what else you need to do on your iPod. Cause then if you start Zenonia three right now on your iPod, it will most likely crash. So you're gonna have to watch part three. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, and uh, go watch part three.